chance for me to get a javelin in this fallen tree. What I really want is this one. Yeah, look at that sharp splinter. Perfect. This one will work just fine. crossed over that hill up there. Uh, I've come down into an area that has it looks like a river or something, or a lake. Um, I'm at the edge of a lake or something. And there's a little waterfall over here. I can hear the water running. Well, look at that log jam right there. down through here. Yeah, it's just a little tiny stream that runs into this river. Or lake, whatever it is. I'm going to keep heading off in that direction. I'm going to follow the shoreline out around that way and see where it takes me. See, I got these two fish hooks here. One was a wasp, and the other one's just a conventional hook that I can go fishing with. I've got two two blow guns and plenty of darts. And then I got these two razor sharp javelins right here. One of them's about four foot long, and the other one's about seven feet long. I'm ready to hunt and fish. And with me staying here next to this lake is going to be a good, good opportunity for me to uh, feed myself. But if I'm going to be able to stay here next to this lake, I've got to find some place that has a flatter shore. Uh, this area right here, the, the banks are just so steep. There, there's no place for me to build a shelter. And uh, I just need a better location. So I'm going to have to keep following the, the edge of this lake until I find a, a suitable place to, to build a camp. And that's where I'll, I'll dig in and uh, start worrying about how I'm going to feed myself. This here is a green briar vine. And these young tender leaves, like this here, are completely edible. And so is the tips of them. And you can see those right up. These banks are just so steep, uh, I'm having difficulty walking along through here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a coracle to uh, ride on the surface of the lake itself. And it's going to make it a lot easier on me. Um, I need to find uh, some suitable grapevine and I'm going to use a tent that I've got in my backpack. So let's get started on that. Alright, 
I got the basic frame put together. What I need to do now is lay a top rim along here. I'm gonna make this upper edge flat. I'm gonna take these waves out of it. Let me go find another vine. Okay, I'll just last this right here. sides with my lashings. That way everything stays nice and tight. Yeah, this will leave ends for me to lash on my next piece. Alright, that's just about got the frame of my coracle finished. And typical of all coracles is just got a wooden frame. Well, I'm using grapevines. You have some nice webbing down there to uh, to make the bottom of it. I'll have to lay a couple more pieces in. Go a long ways. Like that's so when I get in there and sit down on it, it won't, uh, it won't allow me to fall through the bottom. So I guess that's what's next. Yep, that's going to work fine. Alright, now that my coracle frame is finished, uh, I've turned it over, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the bottom of it and make absolutely certain that there's no sharp twigs or uh, spikes or anything that could uh, uh, puncture the tarp that I'm going to cover the bottom of it with. And that'll just help keep from uh, getting any holes in my boat. If I find anything, like this right here, I just very carefully trim it off. Looking pretty good. Yeah. 
That's wide enough to carry across any portage. So now what I gotta do is uh, cover the bottom of it. And yeah, I could use an animal hide. I could use birch bark if I had it. Uh, but all I have on hand now is the, the rain cover over a tent that I have. And yeah, it's waterproof. It's made out of a silk like or parachute material. And that should work just fine for, for this application. So that's what I'm gonna use. Big enough. Good. Now what I gotta do is pull this all together nice and tight and uh, lash it together with strings so that the, the strings pull it tight. And that should make a real good boat skin for my little coracle. And I sure wish I had an animal skin or something like that, it'd be a little bit better. For birch bark even. That'd be the best thing to use. Let's get to it. <sighs> See, take a little stick, make a button. on there. See, we'll grab onto it and it won't let go. Alright, you see? Two buttons, pull it together. Make it nice and tight across the bottom. And you just pull the whole thing tight just like that. Well, I got a few more ties to make, so I better get busy. And then the back ones. I'm going to pull in nice and tight. Tie them off right here. And then the catch is in the back. I'll just pull forward so they're nice and tight. See, that makes a nice nice tight skin around there. When I put this in the water it's going to float just perfect. Now let's go test it out.
Okay, well, my coracle leaked a little bit, so my solution was to take the rest of the tent instead of just the fly cover. Uh, I came out here with a tent that has a waterproof bottom, so I wrapped the, the waterproof bottom of the tent around my coracle, and then I put the cover sheet over that. And as you can see, with it all put together like that, uh, it should be a lot more waterproof. And uh, I'm fixing to cast off, and we'll see how it works. Going to my javelin. Got to take those too, don't I? a lot easier than uh, walking through all that thick brush. Glad I decided to take that three and a half or four hours to build a coracle frame. And of course without something to cover the bottom with I wouldn't have had anything but even just a simple plastic tarp is really all you need. For an animal skin. One problem you can encounter, uh, if you should happen to be able to build a coracle, is you might not have a paddle, and the water may be too deep to uh, pull along in. So one of the things we're going to explore right now is uh, how to either make a make a paddle or improvise something to paddle along with in the water. We're about 10 inches down into it. Oh, broke that stick. See, you split the sumac, and then you can take small branches like this and break them all about eight or ten inches wide, or in length, eight or ten inches in length. And you slide those twigs in there. See, and that gives you a paddle that'll work pretty good. Uh, and yeah, when you when you really got a lot of time, you can take the time. You can carve a paddle that works, you know, perfectly. But uh, just in a pinch, something like this will do fine. one excellent way to make a coracle with uh, grapevines and a tent.